Hey everybody, this is Jake with Myers Flies, and today we're going to be tying a very simple little pattern, uh, but uh, very common, and that is the Frenchie, a little Frenchie fly. And uh, we're going to be tying this in like a green, I'm going to do like a caddis green uh, type uh, dubbing color, and then do a fluorescent, uh, like a bright green as my hot spot uh, with my thread. And the reason I do that here <clears throat> in central PA and, you know, a lot of Pennsylvania and a lot of places, the uh, little caddis fly uh, will build, uh, the case building caddis will build, you know, a little case, uh, sometimes with a little small uh, triangular type cases, uh, sometimes with the bigger uh, the bigger caddis that have like sticks and rocks and things of that nature uh, that they will build little cases out of and uh, that's what the body is going to represent with the pheasant tail uh, just like some kind of a case and then uh, we're going to use like a black uh, or nickel uh, tungsten bead and then that'll be like the black head of the uh, of the little uh, caddis <clears throat> and then uh, the hot spot or the green is going to kind of be like the body and the bugginess kind of like little legs and things so uh, really effective uh, little fly I'm going to tie this uh, pretty heavy I tie this with tungsten beads almost all my flies are tungsten beads and lead uh, that way uh, I don't have to put any lead on my uh, on my line at all my tippet at all it's just the weight of the fly and um, so we're going to be tying that you can tie it also in other colors there's like pinks and uh, you can do some yellows and greens. I mean, you just, whatever you want to do, you try some things. You never know. You might, uh, you know, find you got uh, got a killer fly there. You come up with some kind of a, a pattern. And that's that's what's neat about this. You get to try different things and so uh, different colors. So don't be afraid to try different color combinations in this. Uh, I usually use uh, the dubbing that you're going to see and then like a brighter uh, contrast. And just, I don't know, uh, you know, if it's scientifically proven, but I just think that when you do, uh, different contrast in your colors uh, that maybe just the color contrast might you know, spark a, a hit or a strike from a fish uh, but uh, but at any rate you know uh, different little uh, bugs that are down there uh, in the in the water column and at the bottom of the creeks uh, you know one time you look at them in the light and it'll be <clears throat> you know a, a one color and then you turn it a little bit and it's a little brighter a little darker and so those things will vary and so I think that by putting different colors in your uh, flies uh, instead of just like two greens like the you know, same color green thread with the same color green dubbing you know mixing up a little bit that color contrast as that uh, little flies tumbling across uh, the bottom of the creek just kind of give us a little bit of extra uh, realism so uh, you go ahead and check that out for yourself tied in different colors uh, here today if uh, if you want some of these we can tie them up for you uh, just give us a message here at myersflies.com and we'll get those tied up for you uh, or you just tie them yourself they're pretty simple and boy there's no greater reward uh, when you're out there uh, and you know catching fish that you tie something and then uh, that fish takes it and what a what a great uh, blessing that that is what a great thrill uh, that that can be in the in the fly fishing uh, world and especially if you tie and then also uh, be sure to like us on Facebook, uh, give us a follow on Instagram, and uh, also subscribe to the YouTube channel. If there are some things that you're liking to see, uh, that you would like to see, uh, please just let us know. Uh, we, we get uh, messages and comments and things uh, that people are looking for, and we'll certainly do our best to get those out and get that video content out to you uh, in a timely manner. Just want to be helpful to you. Uh, that's why we do these videos. We certainly enjoy making them. Uh, but we certainly enjoy when you uh, are being helped by them. And so let us know. Let us know if they're a help to you. And also let us know if there's something that we can do for you. Uh, if you go to our website, you can order flies there. If you don't see something that's listed, we do a lot of custom orders. Uh, so don't be afraid uh, to go ahead and you know request a fly, something of that nature, and we'll get it tied up for you and uh, try to be a help that way. So, hey, tight lines on the water. Hope you catch a bunch of fish. God bless. Okay guys, this is Jake with Myers Flies, and as I mentioned, we're going to be tying the Frenchie fly today. And so in the vise, already I have a fire hole, uh, the 633, fire hole 633, and that's uh, just their standard nymph hook, uh, size number 14. I, I like to tie this in a size 14 or 16, uh, you can even get, do some 18s. 
Um, but then I'm going to throw on a little bit of 0.015 lead on this. I'll probably do maybe five, six, seven. <laughs> Sometimes whatever I whatever I feel. But usually it's it's around that six or seven wraps of lead. Just kind of push that right back up there in the vise. That's a uh, 2.8 millimeter tungsten bead. I'll tell you that the uh, 2.8. That's like a 7/64 bead. Uh, I like to use the tungsten so it'll get it down to the bottom for us. And this, I like to put a couple wraps of lead there, or a couple wraps of the thread, and then just pull with my thread against the lead, and that'll help me kind of get it right to the back of the uh, the bead there, get it tucked back up in there real nice. That's just um, 140 denier uh, fluorescent chartreuse from uh, UTC. And then I'm going to use a little bit of uh, just a uh, Coke de Leon fibers here. Pull off six or eight fibers. We get a measurement there about the length of the body. Come tie that right in here. I like to put about one or two wraps there. Then just kind of make sure I, I like my, my tail length. If it's not good, I can kind of just pull it back. A little bit. I always like to let it longer sticking out the back. That way I can kind of just pull it up a little bit. And so I'll just make a couple wraps as I go back down to about where the barb would be. And I'll pull that up, cut that off there. Uh, then what we're going to do is take a little bit of uh, take a little bit of wire. This is the brassy sized gold wire from UTC there. Just tie that in. And I come right behind where that where that lead was. Right behind where that lead was right there. And go down. That way it doesn't build up here. And I'm going to put that on the far side of my hook. That way when I wrap it, I'm going to wrap the same way that I wrap my pheasant tail fibers. Just going to use some regular pheasant tail fibers. Take off about eight of those. And you always pull it off and you got those curlies that kind of, you know, just kind of come in and cut, snip those off. And then I kind of grab the front where the tips are. I just kind of make them all about the same. Then come again right back there to where you tied in your lead. Again, just bring that straight back to the back there. And you can kind of bring that straight up, bring your lead up, or your thread, straight up there. I'm just going to wrap, wrap this pheasant body, pheasant tail up here. And just bring it right up to the back. Snip that off. <clears throat> so there you can see the pheasant tail. Nice little tailing material. And like I said, I'm not going to counter wrap this. You can if you like to. Uh, it will add a little bit of durability. Um, because I use a tungsten bead and I fish these close to the bottom, <laughs> to be honest with you, I lose it before I wear it out. Uh, it's just the way it is. So, you bring that up, helicopter that uh, that lead that wire there off. Now, what what you can do, and some guys have done this, you can just you can just build that up right there with your lead, wrap it or with your thread, and uh, just finish that off right there. What I like to do is just kind of bring my thread back here a little bit, and I'm going to use the Sasquatch dubbing. This stuff is buggy, very buggy looking, and this is the Allen. Allen color there. You can order this on our website at MyersFlies.com. This has a little bit of flash in it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, see the flash there in the uh, mixed into the dubbing. But I'll just kind of mix that on. 
just want about a two inch tapered dubby noodle and I usually do this a little bit tight so I'll kind of spin this on with my fingers pretty tight because it is already you know pretty buggy I don't want the collar to be too big I'll just wrap that around And I just do some whip finish here at the top. And there you go. You got your little hot spot there. Now if you have any of these that are just real crazy, you can kind of snip them off. You want it to be you want it to be buggy. But see there you can see you've got that little hot spot right there. You've got your dubbing right back there. And so it really, that's a really nice fly. Now, a lot of times I'll just come in with a little bit of uh, hard as nails and just just take my little bodkin and put a little, put a little dab right on there. That's it. And that is all that is to that Frenchy fly. And it is a fish catcher. Uh, you can also uh, use some different uh, collar dubbies. You could do some uh, some red, you know, like some red UV ice dub. Uh, I've used that before. I've used the, uh, the ice, uh, the chartreuse, you know, ice dubbing. Uh, another one of my favorites is that uh, the, 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 the pink, you know, use that with like the red. You can use that with like the red uh, thread on there. And so I just kind of match up you know, whatever my dubbing is, this is like a caddis green, and I use like a chartreuse green. So then if I use uh, like a pink, I'll use like a red thread uh, hot spot. And uh, same way with like, like UV shrimp. Uh, the UV shrimp is, is more of like an orange, you know, it's like an orangish color, that uh, the ice dub there. And so there you can use either red or a like a fire orange or fluorescent orange. So give these a try. Very simple, very simple little pattern there, uh, but they will catch you some fish. So uh, subscribe to us on uh, YouTube and like us on Facebook and give us a follow on Instagram. Thanks a lot. God bless and tight lines.